Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's news video. Today, we have the, well, not today, like three days ago, and I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry that I'm super late on this, but I still gotta make a video on it. We have the AR trailer number two for FNAF AR special delivery. It is absolutely insane. And I'm actually kind of glad that I waited to do this uh, later because we also have more information on how you can actually get your hands on an early copy of the AR game. We will look into that at the end of the video. But first, we're going to look at the trailer. It is absolutely mind-blowing because um, someone speaks and we will be theorizing about that, which it's pretty obvious who, it's, who it is, but we're still going to talk about it. Yeah, so we're going to watch the theory video, or no, we're going to watch the trailer, we're going to theorize about it, and uh, analyze it, and then we are going to look at some Reddit posts, and then I can show you guys just how you can get your hands on an early copy of Special Delivery. So this is the second teaser trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. We're going to watch it all the way through once, and then we're going to go, um, on the second time, we're going to look at it, dive deep into, um, you know, the speculation territory, see what it's all about. And then we'll move on to the next topic. So, let's watch it right now. I have seen it, so it's not going to be a reaction. So, uh, here it is. <laughs> There's the phone on the desk. We've seen this. Uh, unknown, hello. I will find you. I will find you. I will find you. Then we get loads of messages. And then... I planned something special just for you. Oh, my God. Then it freaks out. We get loads of numbers. And then we get a creepy laugh. So, let's analyze this now, shall we? So these first few seconds we have seen in the first trailer, you know, we get a phone call, or not a phone call, sorry. We get a text message from an unknown caller saying hello, and then I will find you three times. One, two, three. And then they start sending us loads of messages. Something that's interesting to note is that the caller ID has now changed from unknown to C. What that means exactly, I have no clue. And then it freaks out and we get the Amazing line coming from we'll find out shortly. I planned something special just for you. That's absolutely insane. I still can't believe that. <laughs> yeah, so obviously this is Freddy. We got Freddy's outline. Some people saying that it's Fredbear because of the purple bow tie. It's not. Everyone knows that Freddy has blue eyes and you know his eyes are lit, and it's giving the desk I am. Um, a blue hue so it makes it look like the red bow tie is purple. I'm guessing they put that in there just to throw people off. It's it's 100% Freddy, trust me on this. Then he says, I have something special planned just for you. Not entirely sure what that voice, uh, voice line means, but it is awesome to know that we finally, finally have a proper official voice for Freddy because longtime fan, well, not really longtime fans, seeing as it only came out in May, but um, you guys may remember when the VR title, Help Wanted, was released, there was no showtime in the game when there was supposed to be, or when there was plans to put in a showtime where all the characters would perform and sing on stage. That never actually got into the game. I made a whole video about this, about showtime and um, all the characters singing and performing, but you can actually find in the game files. I don't know if it's still in there. It might be. I don't know. Um, you could find their models actually doing the performance they're there their voice lines are there they move to the to the uh, to the song they sing the song and you can hear the official voice lines for bonnie chica and freddy but scott didn't like those lines or didn't like the voices so they never put them in so now that we actually have freddy's official proper voice a voice that scott is happy with this is just insane I planned something special just for you. Going back to the trailer, though, we can see that it, the messages stop something at, oh god, I just missed it, 1,111 new messages. Um, which is super, super interesting to note, because not only is that the time on the phone, 11.11, but it's also, um, when Illuminix posted this, um, trailer on Reddit, they titled their post, you have 1,111 new messages, so maybe that's a number to look out for. And then because this is one of the um, harder sections of the video to uh, look at, just because it's so slow, god, that noise is horrible, we are going to look at it in 0.25 of the speed. So we get loads of flashy numbers, and it's going to be hard to pick them out, 
but we can try our best. So the first number is 11 1987. I kind of missed the frame that's you can really see it on, but it is 11 1987. Um, which obviously everyone should know is the month and year in which the bite of 87 happened. That one, don't get confused. That's not the one that Fred bears with the um, the crying child being bit on the head. That's not that's not it. The bite of 87 is the one that happened at the FNAF 2 location with one of the um, toy animatronics. Most people assume it's Mangle. I mean, honestly, it makes the most sense in my opinion, but we don't know exactly who it is, but that is the one that happened at the end of FNAF 2 on night um, night 8, or at the end of night 7. I um, can't remember. It's super close to the to those dates, though. And then we just get loads more numbers, like, six, what was that, 6-something? Wait, let's see. 6 2010 uh what so that's april may june 2010 what happened in june 2010 and then i saw a 2014 date 8 2019 um then we just get loads of numbers for 2015 i don't know if these mean anything and then admit one you might not know what that means, but that is actually our next thing to look at, because this is all the trailer has to offer. So if you look down in the description, you can see that it says pre-register to be eligible for early access at FNAF1.com. And if we actually go to FNAF1.com, you can do exactly that. I said we were going to look at the Reddit post, but I guess we're saving that for later, and we're doing this one right now. So, all you have to do to pre-register to get... Um, updates on the game and be eligible for an early access ticket, all you have to do is type in your email. I've already done this, so I'm already entered. Actually, I'm entered like three or four times because I use all of my email accounts because we got to get early access, boys. We didn't get early access for Help Wanted, obviously, but dang it, we're going to get early access to AR. I don't care how much it takes. We are going to get it. Mark my words! Yeah, all you have to do is enter your email and then you're signed up. Um, if you're lucky, actually, you can get a email saying that you're entered now. All you have to do is sign up and then you'll get this email saying your first special delivery from Fazbear Entertainment has arrived. Since you have pre-registered, you are now eligible for an early access ticket. Be on the lookout for more special deliveries from Fazbear Entertainment and your, f and, and your chance to experience the fun, fun, fun early. Now... This is actually a really awesome design for a, um, for a ticket, and I really, really love it. Um, you might not know what an early access ticket is, and I'm here to explain exactly what it is. So, obviously, there's going to be many, many people signing up for early access, and it's going to be unbelievably difficult to just pick different people. So, what's going to happen is when you enter your email, you'll get this email saying you're um, eligible for an early access ticket. Now, those people that get the ticket have a chance of then getting the actual early access game. So when you sign up, you are 100% guaranteed to get a ticket. But when you get the ticket, there's only a slight chance that you'll get early access. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. I'm sure you've seen many things like this. The last thing we're going to look at is the Reddit post, like I said. So obviously, um, this is just the post that uh, Illuminix made to <laughs> that sends you to the second trailer. But they actually left a comment explaining basically how you enter and what all this means. First, we'd like to thank the community for the warm welcome into the FNAF family. We are huge fans ourselves and we have loved being hard at work building this game. We truly want it to be one of a kind experience for all of you. However, it became clear during development that the animatronics are not easy to work with. We found several getting out of their shipping containers and wandering around the studio at night. Some even left the parking lot. Don't worry, we've tracked them down and found the issue. Just a few lines of bad code nobody seems to remember in implementing. Also, some QA testers left as a result of a failed test case. Seems odd since their job is to find those things. But our ghostly, pale, and surprisingly sweaty QA lead kept saying, They're gone. Lost to the shadows. In every daily meeting since. We know these characters hold a special place in your hearts, and we need to show them a little respect, right? So we're going to take a bit more time to fortify their crates, refactor some code, and hire some new QR employees so we can express ship these special deliveries to you before the holiday rush. We've been listening to all of you and appreciate your enthusiasm. Today, we're announcing that those who pre-register at FNAF4.com have a chance at getting an early access ticket. Those with tickets will be our first customers to experience it all over and over and over again. 
forever. Thank you again for your passion and understanding. We'll have more to share soon, er, this time. Something that's interesting is that this was edited three days ago. And I did see this post when it came out, and I don't remember entirely what they changed. I think I might be er this time. Something else that I completely forgot about is the fact that it says, we can express ship these special deliveries to you before the holiday rush. Does that mean Christmas? Does this... Are they pushing it back to Christmas? I can't... It's hard to tell. Wait, either holiday is referring to what people normally refer to the holiday rush as, which is like the Christmas time, or it means holiday like the upcoming holiday like Halloween. Does it mean Christmas? Oh god, please don't be Christmas. Yeah, so I'm not sure about that. I'm honestly still just waiting for a release date because it's insane that we're more than halfway through uh, freaking October and we don't have a release date for a Halloween game. Something interesting to note is that we found several getting out of their shipping containers and wandering around the studio at night. Some even left the parking lot. Don't worry, you track them down. A few lines of code, blah, 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 blah. They're gone, lost to the shadows. Now... This is clearly a reference to, in the first trailer, um, oh, well, the official trailer, I should say, um, when some character says, I've been hiding in the shadows. So, they have probably already gone to the shadows, and now these animatronics are escaping to the shadows to go with them? I don't know, it's, it's really confusing, honestly, just because we don't know that much about it. Um, so, my current understanding is that these characters were built, they're in their shipping containers, ready to be sent off to us, um, but some of them have managed to escape, and now they're going to a place called the Shadows. Not entirely sure, sure what that means, but, um, okay. Just a few lines of bad code nobody seems to remember implementing. Could that be a reference to, like, Help Wanted's scanning devices? Where they scan the code and that's how they got the VR, uh, levels? I don't know. This is really confusing, um... But it does give us a little bit more insight on the lore and the backstory of this game, so I'm always cool with that. And again, I'm going to show you guys one last time just how you can get your hands on an early access ticket to get FNAF AR Special Delivery. So, first things first, step number one, FNAFAR.com. You'll be brought here, um, loading screen for a little bit, and then you can press pre-register. It'll bring you down here. You type in your email, it'll be just like, all right, thanks for typing in your email. Shortly after, you'll get an email saying your first delivery, yeah, 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 we've been over this. Uh, you're now eligible for an early access ticket. And that is where everyone stands currently. As you can see, it's really, really easy. Basically, anyone can do it. And if you are a FNAF fan, I highly recommend doing this because honestly, the best thing to happen is to get early access to a full FNAF game. Especially one that's in AR, something that has never happened before in the series, which is just insane. Yeah, so FNAFAR.com is going to be linked down below. So put in your email and good luck. Again, it's crazy that Freddy now has an official voice, which clearly we're going to hear more about in the, in, the, um, in the game itself. So stay on the lookout for release date, stay on the lookout for more news about FNAF AR special delivery. And again, I'm sorry for being late on this, but on the plus side... We did get more information, so that's good. So thanks everyone so much for watching. As I was recording this, actually, Click Team released news on the Switch ports for FNAF, so uh, you know I'm going to be making a video about that soon. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.